Welcome. In this video, we'll explore how to create, visualize, and share reports in Obkyo's Network Performance Monitoring app. This video will be split into two parts. The first part will teach you how to create reports, and the second part will cover how to visualize the reports that have been created. There are two ways to create network monitoring reports in Obkyo's app. The first is to manually and immediately generate a report on demand. The second way is to generate a scheduled report. Let's start with manual, on-demand reports. To create a new report, click the plus icon at the top. This will take you to the menu to generate your report. Give your report a name. I'm going to name it Issues Severity Last 30 Days. You'll then have to choose the type of report you want to create. You can see several types of reports in this menu. You can generate a report to view all your speed test metrics or even to view all your network performance metrics. We're going to choose the report type called Issue Severities. This report shows how long your Obkyo account remained in the warning and error severity levels for network issues and if they correspond to the yellow and red color codes in Obkyo's graphs. We're going to change the start date to create a report that includes 30 days of data. The report can also be generated using any time zone. Then click Create to create the report. Before that, I want to point out that the report can also be sent via email. Just enter the email addresses in the selected field. You can also include various filters to your reports to include or exclude certain monitoring agents, groups of agents, or monitoring sessions. Finally, you can also send reports via webhook if you configure them in the webhook settings. Note that all the advanced parameters are optional. The email field is also optional, so we're going to leave it empty. This creates a report that will be available directly in Obkyo's app and won't be sent by email. You can see the report has been generated and is available in the Reports tab. Wait a few seconds for the reports to collect the data. So we've just created our first on-demand report. Now let's make a scheduled report. To do so, click the gear icon to access your scheduled reports. There are currently no scheduled reports created. To create a new scheduled report, click on the plus icon and give your report a name. I'm going to name it Speed Test Weekly Report. We're going to choose the Speed Tests report type to receive automated speed test results, and we're going to change the frequency to Weekly. Then click Schedule Report. Like with on demand reports, these reports can also be sent via email. I'm not going to send this one via email, I'll just click Schedule Report to create it directly in the app. You'll see here that the speed tests scheduled report has been created to generate on a weekly basis. At this point, no report was created immediately, but we can see that the next report will be generated tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. based on the local time in my web browser. Now let's return to the reports tab. Again, there is only one report created since the scheduled report did not yet generate a report. Let's move on to the second part of this video to learn how to visualize a report. First, choose the report that you want to visualize. I'm going to click on the report we created earlier. You'll then see all the information about that report in more detail, including when the report was created, what time frame the report covers, and what time zone is used in the report. You can send anyone the link from the public URL field, so they can download the report without requiring an Obkyo account. This setting is optional and can be deactivated if needed. Click Download Report to immediately download the report as a .zip folder. The .zip folder will include an Excel file. You can also include a JSON file in there as well, so you can access the data in both Excel and JSON formats. Then just open the .zip folder. Here's an example showing the contents of the Excel file. The Excel file contains three tabs for the Alert Severity is report type. The first tab includes the summary, which shows you the timeframes of the report. The second tab includes the report data based on monitoring agents and monitoring sessions. Here you can see the list of monitoring agents that collected your network performance data. You'll also see the duration of the report and how much time, in seconds, each monitoring agent spent in each severity level. This includes warning, which is the yellow color code in the application, and error, which is the red color code. 
It'll also show you if the agent is simply unavailable, which we call critical. You can view the data as a percentage, and you can also view the same data in terms of time, with a time indicator included in minutes and hours. The Sessions tab gives you the same information, but really from a specific monitoring session's point of view. Since there are only two sessions in this account, we're going to have the same information, but based on the monitoring sessions from the app. So this is the information from the report in question, and all the other report types will follow this same format. And there you have it. This is how to create, visualize, and share reports in Obkyo's network performance monitoring app. Thanks for watching. Thank you.